tonight, exclusive new details on a crime that has been a topic of conversations in this region for years. Sunday will mark four years since a Putnam County couple was killed. Their family really thought the gated community on Lake Oconee was so safe. Police say there's no proof where Russell and Shirley Dermond actually died or if the killers came into that community by car or by boat. Tonight, the couple's youngest son speaks about the crime for the very first time with our investigator, Rebecca Lindstrom. Brad Dermott says he was extremely close with his parents. All of the children actually were, which is why he feels he's almost betraying their memory by talking with us. He says his parents were very private people, but he hopes by opening up and sharing more about his parents' life, new leads will emerge and the killer's caught. And in fact, they don't even know how he was murdered because we don't have his head. For the first time, Brad Derman is talking about how his parents died. Mark Keith Brad. But he's also opening up the photo albums, mm -hmm. sharing those precious moments of laughter with his mom, the weddings, the births, all the things that make life worth living. Just the most wonderful people you, you ever want to meet. And for the first time, Sheriff Sills has released this surveillance video of Russell Derman. Around 2.30 on May 1st, a camera at Publix captures him picking up a prescription. Moments later, he goes to grab some bread and cucumbers. Uh, absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. But it is the last day Brad talked with his father and the last time anyone we know saw him alive. We may not like how long it may take, but it will be solved. Brad believes there had to be more than one person involved in. While a boat may have been used to dump his mother's body, he believes at least one suspect approached the house by car. Jeff? Yeah, I mean, here we are all these years later, and we are using the word may. I mean, we're still trying to figure out the details on all of this. At one point, the couple's children were considered suspects. Did he talk about that at all? He did. We talked for more than an hour, and yes, I did ask him anything I asked. He was willing to answer. So we're going to have his answer and much more of our conversation tonight on The Late Feed. Jeff? It is such a curious story. It is a story seemingly without end, mm. and those clues perhaps will pick up again as a result of the your hope. interview. Yeah. Thank you, Rebecca.